Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Jesse Alexandria. Welcome. And for those of you that are old friends and family, welcome back. As you guys can see, we have a pick a card reading, or in this case, I should say a pick a teacup reading. I wanted to do something that was going to really nurture our heart space. And one of the things that I love to do when I'm focusing on self-care, when I'm focusing on love, is pour myself a hot cup of tea. So we have three different teacups to choose from, as well as three different types of teas. Each one of these teas is going to be linked down below in my description box. You can, I'm sure, purchase them off of Amazon. They're different brands, but they're three of my favorite teas that I find myself gravitating towards the most often. So the first option is the Milky Oolong Tea. It really does have this creamy, super light, comforting flavor. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's very, very good. And I think if you choose this teacup or this tea option, don't feel bad if you feel called to it directly, intuitively, or if it's something that you would like to drink. That's totally, that's totally okay. I'm going to push this one off to the side and let it steep for a little bit. The next message is the Wedding White Rose Tea. This tea is very light and very floral. It'll also give you a little zap of energy. Not a big zap, a little zap. It does have a little bit of caffeine in there, but it's not anything that will make your heart race or make you stay up all night. So that is the White Wedding with Rose Tea. Very, very delightful. Very light, florally decadent. Even as I'm talking about it now, smelling it makes me wanna <laughs> be like, okay, this is my tea, but no, honey, this is your, if you decide that this is the one for you, then that's that's all you. The third message is going to be the matcha. Now, not all matcha is created equal. This matcha in particular is some of the best that I can find that would be delivered quickly to my house. And it is from Japan in the springtime is what I remember. This is the third message if you choose it. And I will say that if you are not someone who is inspired by caffeine or doesn't like energy boost, you're probably not gonna like this tea. However, if you feel called to listen to this message because of the cup or the flavor, that's okay too. I'm just gonna get it going for you. With matcha tea, as you know, you do have to blend it up. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it definitely needs to be mixed in. All right, my loves. I'm gonna let both of these teas, or all three of these teas steep. The options will be down below. You know what I just realized? This first tea, no wonder why I was stumped on it. It's actually a cinnamon tea. This is a cinnamon cardamom tea. It is not milky oolong. I'm currently drinking a milky oolong tea off on the side. This is a cardamom cinnamon, cinnamon tea. Very spicy, very warming of the body. And also cinnamon is wonderful for activating energy, like movement in your life. 
It's wonderful for protection. It's also wonderful for abundance, growth, prosperity, and cardamom is one of my favorite herbs to work with. I don't talk about this very often, but it is found in my love spell. So it's amazing for that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get these teas pulled off to the side for you and begin shuffling. Timestamps and everything that you'll need from links for where you can purchase these teas, or the types of teas that they are, to the apothecary, to everything will be found down below in the description box. And I'll meet you guys at your timestamp. All right, my loves, if you chose not the milky oolong tea, but the cinnamon cardamom tea, this is your reading. This is messages from your angels and your guides, your spiritual team. The things that you need to hear now. Messages to comfort the heart, the soul, and to encourage you on your journey. Like I said at the very start of the reading, links to my apothecary so my magic will be listed down below as well as the links for this tea and the cards that i am using including this candle that's burning over here i also have a sacred space fixed candle burning on my right to help while I'm shuffling and connecting with your energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a full reading. What do we need to hear? Wow. I just heard um, someone say, say hello to a new friend saying hello to a new friend. So that's very interesting. I don't know if that is significant for you if you're gonna have new friendship enter into your life. Interesting. Okay, so first things first, what I'm picking up on is um, a message that Spirit wants to give you is that any type of harsh judgments towards you are melting away. I don't know why I'm hearing um, like inner circle drama, friendship circle. Um, this could also, this is very significant or telling or uh, specific for someone. This could be having issues with feminine energies, meaning maybe like dealing with gossip, jealousy, evil eye energy. You're being protected away from this. Also, you're you're going to be connecting what spirit, your angels and guides, and what spirit wants you to know is that you're going to be connecting with something or someone here, or something about connection and intimacy is going to deepen. This could look like new friendships, but I also feel a sense of new love. I really do. It's interesting because with the 10 of wands showing up here, this is the card of having to do a lot, having to burden a lot, having to shoulder a lot for the sake of trying to have better for yourself, receive better for yourself and enjoy your life as much as you can. But I don't know why I feel like there have been people that have been talking about you or talking around you that um, spirit is dealing with them, but not in a way that seems too karmic. It's just, I almost feel like they're getting distracted by other energies or other things that are more a vibrational match for them. For some of you guys, I'm seeing you, I don't know if you're writing a book or writing a story or journaling, taking notes. It's almost like your angels and your guides, whoever this is, they're watching over and they're so tickled by your education or they're so tickled by what you're capturing, what you're writing down. And they're, they're giving a lot of encouragement. If you are a writer or if you're going to publish something, keep going. Your, your, your spiritual team right now is really working to buoy you, to, to 
boost you up. For some of you guys, I'm almost seeing you as a teacher and working on lesson plans. If that's the case, what is being pushed out of your life or what is moving away are maybe even students. It's so interesting, so interesting. So many of many of you need to know that you're leveling up when it comes to your education, when it comes to your knowledge, when it comes to your wisdom. And your angels and your guides really want to speak life and to continue to encourage you um, in this journey. You've come a long way. Um, a lot of it has to do with dedication and uh, more than anything, it doesn't need to be perfect. As I'm looking at the Ace of Cups here reversed, and the Nine of Cups here reverse. It's so interesting. Seven of Wands and Seven of Cups. This hasn't been a journey of perfection for you at all. In the long, at all. Like in any way, shape, or form. That's not to throw shots at you. It's to tell you that sometimes the divine or sometimes the universe will find the person that seems to be the most imperfect fit in order to be placed in a position of power or wisdom or knowledge or caring. I also feel this on the flip side for you. If this is a friendship or a connection that's going to be entering into your life, it's not going to be who or what it is that you expect. You might catch you off guard, but this person is going to check all of your boxes, 100%. This is going to be a really awesome connection, a really awesome connection. I also see um, Spirit is saying uh, there was a focus Whoever this person is, or maybe this is you, there is a focus a lot on your own healing, learning the lessons, and closing them out, like bringing them to a full completion, bringing them to a halt. And now, this is one of the reasons why your angels and your guides are so excited for you, because there's a lot of excitement coming from this, um, from these cards right now, from the energy. Even the tea that it is that you chose is something that if you're working magic, if you want to drink like cinnamon tea, or if you want to put cinnamon in your coffee at the start of your day, it will add a jolt of protection, but also blessing and um, strengthen your immune system, keep your energy high, keep you vibing very high. This tea is wonderful for tapping even further into your masculine energy and enjoying your masculine energy, but benefiting off of it. Um, the thing that I want to tell you is that I, this is a very positive reading, but anything that needed to fall away from your life, especially when it comes to friendships or people that you would think of yourself as like-minded, that you guys have similar interests and heart, anything that was not for you is exactly what's being protected from you. Now, I know, or you are being protected away from, I know that that sounds very cliche, but Oftentimes we may hear it, but we may not necessarily receive it. In this situation, and in, in this case, I really hope that you are trusting who, what, where things are placed. I also really need to tell you that um, some things don't need to be forced into your life at all. If someone shows you who they are, if someone shows you their intention or where they put you in their life, I don't want to say mirror and match them, but just know that if you guys don't want the same things through actions, not just words, then you may be better off again, kind of going forward, focusing on the blessing that is in front of you. There is a lot to look forward in front of you. I don't, I just keep feeling like fresh starts, new beginnings, new chapter, and a lot of things to be excited for. If you have been someone who has felt stressed out, lethargic, weak, and you don't, like maybe even your immune system being compromised or your body not being as strong as it could be, or there was heartache and, and heartbreak, I want to tell you that it's not okay that it happened, but I feel that this is going to start passing away. I feel like this is going to start melting away. It's going to start dissolving. It already has. There was also another message that it is that I wanted to share, but I lost it. Oh, perfection. Um, when it comes to your journey, I don't know why spirit wants to talk to you about not expecting perfection from yourself and um, almost like affirmations. And I really feel that, especially if you do decide that you're going to bring in some cinnamon tea into your life. When you're drinking the cinnamon tea, make sure that you're speaking affirmations over yourself, that you're speaking to the I am, that you're speaking to that Aries side of you, even regardless of your sun, moon, or rising. Make sure that you're speaking into your identity, that you're speaking into your ego. Because sometimes when 
the journey has um, pulled things off of you, away from, from you, things were lost along the way, we want to make sure, this is what I'm hearing, we want to make sure that you are not punishing yourself. Your angels and your guides see you as someone who is very, very powerful. They see you as someone very, very powerful. In fact, you are going to be your worst enemy over anyone else. So if that's the case, we want to make sure that you're speaking life and light into yourself, that we are empowering you in your words, in your energies, your thoughts, what you're listening to, who's around you. Because if you're not careful, you could believe or you can absorb um, energies that are not alignment, like energies that are not a good match for you. Spirit is kind of, is wants to speak into you about the, the freedom of your choices and making sure that you are empowered in your choices, that you are continuing and inspired to choose things that add vitality and life and abundance into you. I'm also feeling this blanket being wrapped around your energy right now and they call it like a comfort blanket, but really what it is, is almost like a cloak of like caffeine. I don't know how to explain it, but it's something that when you put this cloak on, it, it gives you energy. Now, I'm not saying that you should drink more caffeine or do anything that would harm your body because if anything, this is your energy from this reading is actually coming from physical activity. I don't know if you are actually cutting back on caffeine or coffee or some type of stimulant, but there's your energy seems like you're going to be naturally, the more active you are, especially when it comes to physical fitness, you, the, the better things balance out for you. I really strongly feel that you're going to Pilates, you're going to bicycling, you're, and I, it's not just something that you used to do in the past, it's new and it works for you. Um, I also feel that your angels and your guides have a specific message when it comes to that. So random, but I'm here for it. Um, almost like they want to talk to you about physical fitness or physical activity. This, whatever this is, is it three of cups. So three of cups reverso. This is the card of cutting back the too much of anything. So if you are going to the gym or if you are focusing on your physical fitness right now, make sure that you are not taking, um, anything that was, is giving you a boost of energy. I, I mean, I'm, have to say, and I say this in my personal readings when I'm working with my clients that I am not a doctor, although I do do medical astrology and I'm pretty fucking good at it. Um, but for the sake of society and rules, I cannot, and regulations, I can't say, I can't give you medical advice. So definitely talk to your doctor about this, but spirit wants to talk to you about doing too much of anything or taking any type of supplement, unnecessary supplement in order to make your body do go harder. Yeah. Or to go harder to speed up your progress. Please, 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 please. Your angels and your guides are telling you that the best way to see progress right now is to take those, is to be consistent and to show up and shuffle, not shuffle, but if you do need to shuffle, then that's fine too. Don't push yourself. Don't beat yourself up because again, there's something about your own ambition, your own willpower is you could almost be your worst enemy here. It can almost, I don't say get turned against you, but if you're not hitting your goals or if you don't max out from what it is that you expect of yourself, you have a tendency, at least from what I'm seeing here, to internalize it. And I don't want to say call yourself names, but maybe, maybe, right? So let me see if there's anything else here that spirit wants to say, little comforting messages. Oh, I just keep hearing like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. There's so much excitement from the spiritual realms, like very enthusiastic. If this is not physical activity, this is something that is going to bring you a whole lot of joy. And as I'm saying that we have 10 of cups, king of swords reversed, the hermit card. I was just about to say, get out of your head and into your heart, get back into your body with the ace the ace of wands here reversed. We want to get out of our head um, a little more than you already are right now. For those of you guys that have been spending a lot of time in isolation or meditation or working on your spiritual journey, or you are, for some of you, you might actually be planning a trip and you decided, oh, I'm going to go by myself because no one else can go. I'm not saying not to do that, but I think you'd be surprised who would want to join you on this journey. I'm also lately 
during my astrology readings for the collective on my YouTube channel, there's been a lot of connection. There's a lot of messages lately about community and building your tribe and expanding it, whatever that looks like for you. And for some of you guys, it could be that you're traveling with groups, going on a retreat and finding like-minded souls and spirits. I've, I've even seen that in a client's reading recently that I saw her traveling and making friends, um, not by herself, but with she wanted to kind of, she was kind of called to travel by herself, but I actually saw her putting a little bit more effort into meeting other people and putting herself out there. There's so much of your reading right now that is trying to empower you, encourage you, get you excited, and even break your comfort zones and to encourage you through this. This is not going to feel like a shock to your system. It might make you feel a little um, self-conscious, maybe just a little, but it's something that you can power through. And Spirit is just really, really, really excited for you. I, I also see a lot of abundance for you in the more. If you are thinking about um, starting a YouTube channel or putting yourself out there, this is, there's also a lot of encouragement and your angels and your guides, I just hear like giggling, like they're just giddy, like this giddy, happy energy. It's not to say that it's gonna be the biggest thing, but there's something of great value. It could be, right? You could surpass any one of us on YouTube and have millions and millions of subscribers. I think for you right now, and how I'm seeing this right now, is it's the journey. It's all about the journey for you and giving yourself um, more busy time or something that adds a lot of um, value into your every day. It kind of makes sense now that I'm thinking about this, why you would feel called to choose the cinnamon and cardamom tea. It makes a lot of sense. Speaking of which, I did say in the very beginning that I have in my love spell, it's literally called the love spell. It's an oil that you can use to dress fixed candles or a candle. You can put on crystals. You can use it under the light of the moon. Um, cardamom is one of the main ingredients when it comes to that oil. I don't know why, but I feel the entry of love, friendship, coming into your life. I just want to shuffle and ask about this a little further before we dive into your oracle. I just felt like a text message coming from someone asking, how are you doing? Feels like it's a loaded text message. It may be someone who is not necessarily so concerned with actually how you're doing and checking in on you, but more about checking the temperature of your relationship. I don't know why that feels like something that you should, I don't say keep superficial, but don't. I would ask for discernment as far as this person entering back into your life or spending time with this person. I don't know why that's something that's coming through. Five of cups. So this feels immediately, now I'm talking more about like this relationship that I feel like is going to be entering in. This is coming from a place of um, a part of you that has felt neglected, um, alone. Yeah, Nine of Swords is the card of anxiety, strife. This is the part of you. Now, okay, wow. I just heard that for someone, this could be filling the void of a mother figure. Very, very interesting. So this could be someone who is entering into your life, a new relationship like a, a mentor who replaces the mother figure energy that is that you're craving or that you lacked. It could also be a, like a parent, a parental figure. It could represent, I thought at first that it was going to be love and it's possible that it's there, but I almost feel like it could be a mentor or maternal It's like someone that as soon as you meet them, you have incredible respect for them. You you trust them. You you can intuitively sense that you can trust them. Um interesting. Oh, I second guess myself with that, and I rarely second guess myself. For some of you guys, you are going to be meeting a version of yourself that's brand new that you're going to be that is going to pour into the part of you that you haven't had this this is something that you had fear of 
I don't know if this is now or in the past, you, you were scared that you were going to repeat a pattern. So there's a part of you that might have locked off. And, but I feel like you're, this could be therapy, this could be healing work, but there's a part of you that, look at this, look, the center of this reading, okay, we have five of cups reversed and we have the death card reversed. These two energies represent the center of where, of what is entering into your life, like why spirit is bringing this into your life, the core of it. This is to a nudge towards a spark, a, a part of you that has experienced loss, disappointment. Um, I just heard like discovery, but it's almost like something that you haven't discovered, something that you haven't found. And you may have, and this is in the near past, you have nine of swords upright and then five of swords reversed and the page of cups reversed. There's a part of you that you could be 90 years old. You could be a mother, you could be a business owner, you could be all of these traits that would sig signal or suggest that you have your life together, that you know you you hold it down, you know you're all of these things. But there's this part of you that I don't want to say is shriveled, but very, 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 very vulnerable, and it's almost acted like a block because of what something happened, what something hap what happened to you or what someone hurt you, you know, that, that energy, it almost ended up as a subconscious block that made you feel threatened by it. Will this ever happen? Will I ever be able to have this love? Will I ever be able to experience this? Do I even want to experience it? Like I'm getting these two sides of you. That's just kind of like, do I even want to love again? Do I even want, like, is it too late for me? And there's something about the grappling, the going back and forth, maybe even praying about it or having a subconscious or a very conscious fear that made some type of work be done on it or some type of revelation. And with the Knight of Cups, Knight of, Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Cups, my love, you are ready. And there's this sense of whatever is coming into your life is a direct response to this part of you that has taken all of the good, all of the bad, all of the challenges, all the opportunity and used it to turn you into someone who has understanding. It doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't make you a worse person. And that kind of brings me back to the first start of this reading for you. Remember how spirit was kind of talking about like not expecting perfection from you or the journey. It just is what it is. That's almost what I is that I'm seeing here is this awareness, this knowledge, this wisdom, this coming to terms with. And honestly, it ends up opening the door for this energy, this person, this presence to enter in and to absolutely nourish or to make you capable of nourishing yourself and others. Whatever this is, it's the very thing that you thought you had bad experiences with that you didn't want to repeat, that you almost blocked yourself away from even wanting it. And it's it's like spirit. I don't know if you even prayed about this. I don't even know if you talked to God about this or the divine or your angels or your guides or your ancestors. I don't know. But it's almost like those moments where you are frustrated, you complain about things with your friends, or it's like spirit listens, you know, spirit listens. And there's some prayers that don't need to be stated, but they are answered. I hope that makes sense. Some of you guys did pray about it, but if you did, it wasn't a whole lot. It wasn't a whole lot. It was more fear. It was more um, fear and mourning. That's very, very encouraging. Very, very encouraging. It, you definitely... This is giving um, breaking generational curses, but not to the intense to the to the intensity that you get crushed in the process. Let me move my Venus flytrap over here so that she doesn't get burned. Okay, let me go ahead and look at your oracle cards.
okay? Uplifting messages from your angels and your guides through the oracle. All of these cards will be linked down below, okay? First card for you is relationship. Wow, okay. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. That's beautiful. See how it's almost like, so these cards can very much come in like a prayer. For you, this card is really telling to me because it's almost talking like an affirmation. Like it's almost what you are speaking into yourself. So if you need to take a screenshot of this and read it to yourself or make it your wallpaper on your phone, I totally get it. Okay. Next card for you is love. Wow. So you got relationships and love. There's definitely a theme here. It says, it's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember. I, myself, am love. That is so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful energies right now. And I honestly, I feel like this is what's empowering, empowering you and getting you excited. So it could be a new relationship entering your life that just really gets you so stoked and so excited to believe in love again. This is what you don't see, is what I set intention for with this oracle card specifically. It says, the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life, and abundance. Yeah. So this is what you're not seeing. <laughs> this is what you don't see, is that there is actually a whole lot to be joyful over, to be excited over, which is so funny because when I was shuffling your cards and connecting with the energy... I just get so much enthusiasm and excitement from your cards and from your angels and your guides. It's really encouraging for me. It, like, I, like I said, it's almost like someone has a cloak of energy that they put over their shoulders and they wear it. That's how this is coming through. Wow, you have shielded yourself. Bougainvillea, invoke protection to bring the situation to a speedy end. Yeah, it's interesting because you did get the Eight of Wands card showing up and this is talking about speed. I don't see this as you speeding up. I see this as you taking your time and being intentional and making progress over time, like developing yourself over time. When it comes to shielding yourself, it's a possibility, of course, that because when I, I felt like I got the message of like someone texting like, hi, how are you? And it's just like, are you, I don't know. Like normally when someone asks me that question, I'm just like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm great, how are you? In this situation, it almost felt like they were checking in on the energy and trying to get a pulse on you. Like, are you still, are you, are we cool? Like it felt like there was an ulterior motive. So that was specific for someone or a few people here. But deeper than that, not only do I see you, It's like, I, I don't necessarily see you protecting yourself. I mean, I feel like, I feel more that it's your angels and your guides protecting you from people who have come in or people that were in that had access to you, especially any type of gossip or naysayers or people that don't show their full intention and that may be disguised as like fun and joy and, oh yeah, no, everything is fine. Like, meanwhile, something subconsciously is kind of telling you like, listen, I'm uncomfortable or I should be home right now or I should be over there. Um, listen to that, but at the most, for the most part, I do feel like your angels and your guides, your spirit team is definitely looking out for you. Like they always are, but there's something here about canceling out distraction, um, unnecessary distraction, things that just don't need to have place in your life. Yeah. Because why? New idea. Something new is meant to be entering into your life. Now it could be, you could have a business idea. You could have a whole new journey that is that you're walking on, that you are so excited about, that is gonna make you fall in love with it. It could be a new person. This, if you chose this pile, it's very exciting energies that it is not picking up on, without a doubt. Archangel Michael, write about your thoughts and your feelings. The prayer at the bottom says, thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom. So I clearly express myself in glean insight, blessing and healing. So that right there is something to help you too along the way. 
or maybe you already have, wow. Then you have Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. This is directly connected to me as I'm looking at this to that card that I pulled, that message that is that I pulled earlier about having fear about how things are going to or how they already unfold in your life and just struggle that internal subconscious fear sometimes that we have like am I going to repeat a cycle am I like her am I like him um is this going to be my forever situation and I just I don't know if you guys are sensing the sheer amount of warmth and joy and energy that's coming from this reading but I am and I hope that you're able to feel it because it's so clear to me. It's no coincidence to me, again, that you chose the cinnamon and cardamom tea because this tea actually embodies perfectly the energies that I'm seeing here in your cards. And you, bravo, you did a very good job choosing. Your intuition is spot on. Okay, so I hope that that was helpful to you. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Um, I do offer Bahati Love Notes, which is an exclusive private membership to readings that I do pretty regularly enough. Um, they're not available anywhere else on the internet, um, although I accidentally posted one during <laughs> New Year's Day, but that's totally fine. I'm sure the collective probably needed to hear it. That membership is $15, but I am going to link a coupon code down below to get some money off. It is a monthly membership. Okay, so you will find that down below. Also, down below, you will find links to the apothecary if you are needing a fixed candle, that love oil, money oil, those types of things. I've been doing this for a very long time. It's very helpful to me. It's been very helpful to my clients and I'm very excited and willing to provide. The Apothecary will be opening up shortly so you can sign up for the newsletter and get instant notifications before all others um, so that if you are signed up to the newsletter or a repeated re or returning buyer of my Apothecary, you will have exclusive access to shop without having to worry about anything selling out because you guys already know usually within 24 hours of me opening up the shop everything kind of sold out sells out so everything is always hand packed hand created hand charged everything takes time it's a very sacred process it's a sacred path and i can't rush it i don't want to rush it you wouldn't want me to rush it okay so i'm sending you guys all of my love thank you so much for being here with me on the journey i hope you guys like my nails do you see them they're um sacred heart nails and my animal totem I asked my nail tech if she could do a little magic for me and she did her thing. So thank you guys. All right, my loves, I'm moving on to the wedding tea. This is a good one. It has rose petals in it. Very, very nice. Sometimes when you drink um, rose petal tea, it can get a little bitter, believe it or not. Like it sounds good in theory, but if you let it steep for too long, it kind of has like a twang to it. Maybe not bitter, but it definitely has a twang to it. This tea does not do that. And it's perfect roses. So it's, I think, I don't know if it's like me and my knowledge of like how long you steep tea for now. Cause before I used to just keep the tea bag in there forever. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, I am distracted. It's time for me to talk to those who chose the wedding tea white tea with roses and you will find the links for all teas etc etc down below all right guys moving on to the next pile all right my loves if you chose the wedding rose tea this is your reading it's very very interesting because as soon as i started talking i heard love on the brain the song by rihanna I don't know if Rihanna is your homegirl, but she is mine. Look at this. We have the world card and the lover's card here. So that might be a message for you right away. We are just diving right into it. You may have love on the brain. Links for the tea and the tarot cards. My apothecary, the hottie love notes. Everything that you will need can be found down below. 
in the description box and also pinned in the comments. Let's go ahead and see. I'm trying to feel if I can feel anything for the wedding, the wedding tea. For those of you that chose this pile. This is very interesting. I'm getting a strong sense of um, someone might be trying to like really fight for your energy. Someone or someone's trying to get your attention. Yeah, three of wands. This is supposed to be messages comforting from your angels and your guides. So I want to kind of remind our angels and our guides to kind of focus on that. But they want to talk to you about someone trying to force like trying to get you to look at them like they might or they someone might be looking into into you social media comforting messages someone might be very creative um uh, I'm seeing someone spirit kind of talking about like arts and crafts, drawing, coloring, so specific, um, like an artist or Venus The and the connection to Venus is definitely here as well. Um, some of you guys are going back into old school romance. So interesting. Um, someone is also sitting by a river. Uh, or connecting to river, like river energy, like the rushing of the river. Um, spirit. Oh, okay. Wow. The message that I'm getting to that is what they want to tell you. That's comforting for you right now is enjoy this season in your life. I don't know why, but they're really asking you to enjoy the season in your life. Enjoy slowing down. Enjoy savoring the moment. Enjoy practicing gratitude. Some of you guys are, um, wow, I just got an image of, this might be symbolic for you. Someone can link this down below or talk to me down about it below. Like, like chewing up like a plant resin and spitting it into a bowl. Um, and then I don't, I don't know what this is actually what spirit is kind of showing you right now. I'm also hearing like cocoa, like coca, you know, coca tea. It's kind of giving like spiritual retreat, but I don't necessarily see a retreat to a distance. I see you doing this at home or locally not going too far, like really not going too far, which is so interesting because you have the three of wands here, which looks out into the distance. Um, Spirit is asking you not to rush through this season in your life. It's so interesting. It almost kind of reminds me of the first message. They had cinnamon and cardamom. You are not, you are called right now to practice gratitude in the moment without in enticing and pulling anything or anyone into your life right now spirit is really asking you it's almost like i'm giving it's um do you remember marie antoinette the movie i it wasn't the best movie but i would watch it right because this is the energy that it's giving there's something about um wow i just heard fools rush in where wise men never go but wise men never fall in love so how would they know when we met, I felt my life begin. So open up your heart and let this fool in. Um, the message that spirit has, because this is very loaded, um, a very loaded reading right now. I We could break this into a full on love reading. But the message right now is regardless of who is on your mind, who is on your heart, who you're in a relationship with or love in the future, Try your best to savor this moment without trying to escape it. That can be really tough when you want something bad, you know, when, especially when it comes to love, connection, romance. 
it will be hard because I feel like there's gonna be a lot of distraction and noise, but almost like Marie Antoinette did, which her story is a little, fl not flaky, but yeah, you know, uh, uh. but I don't know, I didn't know her. I just know stories about her and sometimes stories are not accurate. She did a very good job from what the stories tell of savoring the moment from where she was at, enjoying luxury and parties and herself. Actually, now that I think about it, she wasn't necessarily attracted to her partner. She had the partner there almost as a friend at a distance. So it's interesting because um, if you are someone who is focused on love, relationships, connection, it's not that this isn't here or it's not that it's not important. I just see such a hyper focus on you and your season in life, like you enjoying the time. And it's, I'm seeing you putting out like a blanket, like the image that it is that I'm getting that even brings me to Marie Antoinette is, I don't even remember the movie, but I think there was a moment, or at least I can see it right now where she goes to a river, she puts a blanket down in the grass, there's lamb all around her, like little baby lambs. She's laughing, she's eating snacks, she's enjoying the sunlight, and she doesn't have a care in the world. I'm also, she also had a lot of like companions around her, like friends. Not all of them had great intention, but they served their purpose, which was to put a smile on her face. And for this, if you chose this pile, love will come. Love is, love is here. Love is there. I don't know. I don't know why spirit is talking about it in this way, but for now, enjoy this season in your life. Some of you guys are actually enjoying like tea cakes, like really savoring, like enjoying like little nibbles, like little niblet things that you can enjoy. If this is not some, something that you are embodying in your life right now, this is what is to come is little tidbits of things. Each one of these things is something that you nibble on, that you enjoy, that you savor. Could it be food? Yes. Could it be a text message? Yes. Could it be a movie? Yes. It's all of these tiny things that seem insignificant that are shaping you to enjoy the journey. And that's what spirit wants to comfort you with right now is that there's going to be abundant, many different things that are going to be offered to you in this season in your life if you are open to receiving them. However, if you keep jumping up, and running and rushing and working and overextending, you're not going to be able to enjoy um, the beauty of this moment in your life in this season. Now, this could be from spring to summer. This could be winter to spring. This could be if you're a teenager right now watching this video. This could be um, a woman who's just re just recently divorced. It's about enjoying what you have here this season. Don't look too far into the future that will come that will come. Now this justice card reverse is really standing out to me and I want to talk to talk to the guys about this. What? What? Okay. Ace of Cups. Yep. The star card, which is pouring into you emotion, emotional fulfillment. King of Wands and Four of Swords. So my love, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but Four of Swords is the card of rest, recovery. It doesn't mean that you're sleeping. It means that you're not active, actively producing. Your angels and your guides really want and are comforting you into a season of rest, recovery, healing, recuperation, regeneration, especially with the star card here. This is about recovery and healing, absolutely. Divine intervention, sparkling hope, inspiration, these are things that are being poured into you now, Ace of Cups and even the King of Wands here. Now, could this and will this King of Wands represent a significant person that's entering into your life or has already entered in your life? Absolutely. Do they have to be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius? Not necessarily, but they bring those traits. They bring fire. They bring optimism. They bring fun. They are quick to offer and to extend to you something, right? So let this energy be what is approaching you. And I would consider saying yes to it. So let's say this is a 
coach. I don't know why I want to say that. Let's say this is a coach, someone who is mentoring you, cheering you on, saying, yes, this relationship feels appropriate enough. I don't know why I got to say that too, but it's like whoever this is, they, they're not trying to get anything from you. They're not trying to gain anything from you other than to give you something and then, you know, go on to their next thing because they have their stuff that they're doing. That's what it is that I'm seeing here is that you being very indulgent in your pleasure and you being very indulgent in what works for you, what you like, what you want, what you need, making that a state, like making that a statement, making that be known and having people around you that are quick to provide and then they get out, <laughs> you know, I don't know another way to say that. Okay. So that is your message. I do have Oracle cards here pulled up for you. Um, messages to comfort you. Um, for those of you guys that are concerned with love and relationships, I'm very tempted to do an extended reading, but I don't think I'm going to have the time tonight because the next thing that I'm going to work on is Bahati Love Notes, which is that monthly subscription. So um, maybe that extended message will actually be hidden in Bahati Love Notes because I do feel this really strong desire to talk about love. Um, so if that's something that you want to look into, I'd probably subscribe to that. Okay. Now, but no pressure. First Oracle card that we have for you right now is make it God's. Wow. Release the idea of my, as soon as you start to say the money, the relationship, the job, freedom arrives. When there is no grasping, the right actions get shown. Free me from my prison of my dear Lord. So do you see how it's kind of like, no, it's just what, whatever is that like in this season of like you enjoying what's present right now and you finding gratitude and you appreciating here what's right now. Let's say it's something as simple as like making yourself a peanut butter jelly sandwich or putting your phone on do not disturb and just eating it in the sun and the sunlight. That is a vibe like this is what spirit is saying. This is a wonderful way to comfort yourself in the present in this season. It's like enjoying even the smallest things. And it just helps to make bigger things happen from love to abundance to ideas to just rest. Wow. The next card, of course, I can't, you can't even make this up. Empowerment. When you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It's a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence. Unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Wow. Direction. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. So those things are things that you can do right now because your angels and your guides are like, in this season, not so much of rest, although for some of you guys, you're probably gonna be taking naps, literally just like a cat lazing in the sun, it's beautiful. I don't even want to use the word lazy because it feels very constructive. It feels very like she deserves this time, you know, um, it's going to, it's going to pour into you. Okay. What you don't see. Wow. You have the Swan King, sorry, the Swan Queen, and she's literally sitting in an ice paradise, which puts everything into hibernation mode into frozen. This is the card of transformation, intuition, and patience. This is also bringing you back to hot chocolate, drinking hot chocolate, like really enjoying yourself and really enjoying that hot cup and putting whipped cream on top and sprinkles. <laughs> Even though this card feels cold, look at it beyond that. Look at it as warmth and not needing to rush and to go do the next thing because what is here is really nice and sparkling and beautiful. Cleanse your energy. When you release negativity, the answer to your questions shines through and release all anger. That's really beautiful. So there's a lot of energy work and energy release that's showing up in these two cards. That's pro or maybe you've already done this and now it's your time not to go continue working on yourself, but to enjoy Enjoy your life and all the different things that you can find for yourself from a little piece of candy to a fan, like a breeze that you put on your face, 
to skincare, to a walk in the park, to lotion. <laughs> oh, these are things that I like to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next card we have is throat chakra. Yeah, the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. That's another thing that is, I saw with the king of wands is you speaking up and saying, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. This is what I need right now. I don't like that. You know when someone brings you a hot cup of coffee and you're just like, or hot chocolate in this case, and you're just like, oh, I didn't mean a uh, iced latte. I actually wanted a hot chocolate. This is where you are empowered to say, oh no, you made a mistake. Um, or maybe we had a misunderstanding. I actually asked for hot chocolate. Can I get that instead? And it's about speaking up for what you asked for and not being like, oh, okay, I guess I'll get what I ordered. I don't know why I just feel Marie Antoinette again, like, would she speak up now? Not to glorify her because again, she has her own history. Um, and that I looked into that way back in the day, way back in the day. Um, and I heard different, differing stories. I was actually on a road trip and I was listening to the biography of Marie Antoinette. Like, was she this cold, heartless person or is that how the society portrayed her? Actually, now that I think about it, your cup, your teacup kind of looks like Marie Antoinette. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, look, I mean, that's not her, but that could be one of her friends. Like I could see her hanging out with her. Pretty neat. I don't even know why I didn't even notice that until just now, but everything happens and it's time. The next card we have is heart chakra. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. I love that. Next card we have, wow, even more energy healing. This is from the Archangel Michael deck. It's the prayer is, thank you for sending healing energy to me and through me for my own blessings and for all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. Whoa. Oh, this is the next group. Sorry. I didn't, I don't want to see their cards. Okay. Well, guys, I really, really love that. Some of you guys are really enjoying actual, um, energy clearing work. Some of you guys have already done the work and now it's the time for you to enjoy, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, enjoy abundance and the little things, the little tidbits that are going to fall, that are going to fall into your life because spirit clearly is making a way for them. Okay. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for allowing me to shuffle and channel for you. The cards that it is that I'm using will all be linked down below, as well as the tea that it is that you chose. Very good choice, by the way. For readings, I am currently closed and will stay closed until the apothecary has reopened and all those orders have shipped. And the current um, orders that I've done or current readings that I'm working on are, com are completed and done. So just for that, if you have any questions about the apothecary, my work, my magic, from the oils to candles to items that is that you need, definitely make sure that you make your way over to bahadilife.com. That's my apothecary. You can find all of the items that is I list as well as sign up for notifications as soon as they restock. For those of you guys that are repeated buyers of my magical goods, thank you. And in the newsletter, hopefully you're signed up. Chances are you probably are. In the newsletter, you will get that first before I even announce the shop opening, the apothecary opening up. So that'll give you access to shop at your leisure, fill your cart up, have your item shipped out before it's announced to the rest of the world. So that's definitely a bonus if that's something that um, you've been really needing in your life, okay? I've been doing this a long time and I'm really, really good at it. It does take time. Like I was saying to the first pile, the journey and the process is very sacred. Not just my own journey, but the, the journey of the oils, the creation of the fixed candles, none of it is ever rushed, okay? You wouldn't really want me to rush it. You really do want to have me take my time, especially when it comes to matters of the heart, empowerment, manifestation, etc., etc. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Please subscribe to this video if you are subscribed to this YouTube channel. If you like this video, because there's plenty more where this came from. And maybe I'll see you in Bahati Love Notes. Um, I'm going to have that reading up later on tonight. If not, honestly, bless I'm blessing you along this journey. And maybe our paths will cross again. 
Until then, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to those who chose the matcha tea. Very excited to hear their message. All right, my loves, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, my loves, if you chose the matcha latte, this is your reading. I will not be adding almond milk or milk in your cup because that is for you to decide. And I don't want to muddle your latte with what I would do because you are empowered to do what you want, you could do. All right. So this is your message, messages to comfort you, to support you, to lift you up. What is that? Angels and guides from the highest lights of the universe. What do you want and need them to know? Now, first things first, the, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but as I'm chopping the deck, wow, I see the full card and I also saw the seven of swords. The seven of swords didn't show up just now, but it did show up like three times. This is an, a fresh start, a new beginning, a new chapter that's uh, entering into your life. I, I'm hearing like rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Something that is going to be very, whoa, that card really wants to jump out. I got to go chase it. I'll be right back. Wow. Ten of cups. Ten of cups, which is so funny. Let me tilt this a little bit. Ten of cups, because I was just talking about the energy of rejoicing. And then we have the magician card and the knight of cups. Wow, guys, this already is very, very empowering. Oh, someone felt debilitated or someone was crippled in this situation. Um, this, whatever is about to enter into your life, this is something that you had a delay in for a very long time. The, the house spirit is saying it's like that it was crippled. It, it didn't have the strength. It didn't have the capacity to grow, to show up, to enter into your, into your life. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, is strong and capable now, especially with the magician card here. This is something that you've been wanting, working towards. You're, you're going to be so happy, so ecstatic. I also feel like you've been working towards this or you are prepared right now. You are absolutely prepared. This is going to be a new season, a new chapter in your life, totally new territory. Spirit wants you to know that you are ready. Wow, we have the high priestess here. We have the hangman reversed and the six of cups. This is the energy of not needing to wait any, any, anymore, not needing to wait any longer. This is happening right now. Yeah. You have five of pentacles reversed and the queen of wands reversed. This has something to do with your feminine energy being blocked. It was blocked. Like this is, it was energy. Your feminine energy was blocked. Some of you guys might, I don't want to call you out. But um, some of you guys might have been stuck in situations that you couldn't have bloomed and prospered in the way that you are and will be now. Um, you had to kind of see it. Maybe it was your choices, your decisions, or the cards that the universe kind of dealt you. You had to kind of, you have to see it. You had to see it. You had in this is not easy. This was you learning how to trust your intuition. This was you learning how to, I don't want to say self-sabotage, but some of you guys might have found yourself being enticed by what things look like, how someone says that they are. Something is painted to be something other than what it is. If it's like a job, this is something that you're like, wow, like I needed this job for the money. I've been praying about this. And then you get the job and the, the industry is like super stressed out, put so much pressure on you. It's your managers who said that they were going to support you. They are not supporting of you at all, or they just are super stressed under pressure. I don't know why I'm using those examples, but it's like how things are painted out are not what they are. And this season is gone. This season is done for you. It's done for you. These are situations. It's giving almost like a multitude of different things that were creating blockages for your feminine, your feminine energy where you couldn't really rest. You couldn't really pursue or actively receive your own goals, your personal passion, your personal purpose here. You might have been called in the last season of your life to show up in a specific way that was more masculine driven, like more ambitious, more motivated, more 
like chasing, more pursuing, but this feels very feminine activated. Six of Cups is you coming back to the part of you that is soft, that is innocent, that is um, sweet and joyful and maybe not needing to prove yourself, fight, show up, do the most. Yep. Wow. You have the Wheel of Fortune card here as well as the Eight of Cups. This is the card of things changing in your favor and the Eight of Cups is literally saying goodbye to that past season and walking into this next chapter. And again, this has so much to do with fate and purpose and destiny. This is the right time. For those of you that felt like, oh my God, I'm running out of time. This is never going to happen. That is not true. We just needed the right time, the right place. We we, we, needed, we needed the right circumstances. We, we needed the right support. We needed the right... I'd even look at astrology. I would even look at astrology and I would take a look into this season in your life. Does is this astrology kind of suggest that there's a blessing that's coming through that you can see? And what is this? Wow, look, at the base of your reading, you have the temperance card. This is the card of balance, moderation, pouring in. I pour into you, you pour into me. You also have the card I or the flower iris here on this card, and that represents spiritual protection but also hope despite all the odds, despite all of the obstacles. What is um, What I see you pulling away from or what's being pulled off of you is five of wands reverse though. This is that fight that needs to show up to show out. It really stresses out the feminine energy here. So let me put these cards away because I'm over them. I feel like this is time. If you need comfort right now, you the message is that now is the time. Now your luck changes. Now things are working out. Now things pan out. If you have had incredible abundance and incredible success in your business, into your idea, into your planning, but like terrible, terrible luck when it comes to marriage or love, this is going to turn around. If this has been amazing partnership, but needing to rely on your partner because your business won't take off, because your ideas won't fruit, this is going to turn around. And it's not like you have to choose one or the other. It's the thing that was lacking starts to get stronger. It, it, again, I hate to use this word because I'm sure it might be offensive to someone, but I don't see spirit using this in a way that's terrible or offensive. It's just saying that it's crippled. There's something about it that couldn't, that wasn't, working to its full capacity and it wasn't so much what you were doing but just life sometimes astrology transits i don't know why i keep i want to go back to astrology but definitely with the wheel of fortune card it talks about circumstances that are outside of our control and have a lot to do with divine timing and fate and karma not that you called it into your life but just lessons and seasons that is that you just have to go through you have to grow through them but whatever it is Something is returning back into your life, a stroke of good luck, a dose of vitamin D, I don't know if you want to say it like that, or vitamin C or whatever, vitamin B, and just really infusing what was missing in the in your life. For I just want to tell you that I'm getting this really strong message right now, this comforting message that, wow, look at this, you have the Empress card, this is your time. This is your time. This is happening. If you had to wait for this, if it wouldn't pan out, two of pentacles reverse, five of wands reverse. This is something that you were trying to make it work, trying to make it happen, and it just wouldn't, it wouldn't plant. It wouldn't seed. It wouldn't grow. But this is not the case anymore. Now is the time. Queen of Swords. Um, this is about, whether it's reversed or upright, this is going to be about planning. Um, and making a more realistic plan for the future as far as what, how you're, how you're going to do life now moving forward. I don't know what that means for you. You might have to cut some things off or back. You might not be able to be pulled in so many different directions, but you are definitely empowered. Wow. You have the queen of pentacles reversed here and the queen of wands. You can't be everything to everyone anymore because there's a bigger purpose here that's happening for you. If this is you showing up to every single girls brunch you might not be able to do that when your partner comes into your life and you guys like to work out on Sunday morning I don't know um that sounds more like a curse and a blessing you know <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just kidding I'm just kidding that's BFF just coming through me personally 
I don't like working out on Sunday morning. You will not catch me on the, at the gym on Sunday. What you will catch me doing is sleeping, eating, pancakes, waffles, butter, syrup. Where are my chickens? Where are the eggs? Where's my boyfriend? Going for a walk. The dogs, cuddles, cartoons, music, and then sleep, and then clean. You know, just very, anyway, I, I deviated. What I'm trying to say <laughs> is that um, if that's you though, girl, do you. Like, I, I think that's awesome if you work out um, on Sunday mornings. That's actually fantastic. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> sorry, I just had a thought. Sunday's like my day of recovery, even though I may not have anything to necessarily recover from. Like, let's say the whole week I didn't work out, but Sunday still is going to be my day of recovery. Oh my God. Wow. Anyway, sorry. BFF Jess has left the chat and spiritual Jess is back on. So Queen of Pentacles reverse and Queen of Wands upright. So this is you not showing up as everything to everyone. There's going to be certain lines that you kind of have to draw, not in sand, but kind of in the dirt so that they stay there, you know, as you enter into this new season. Wow. Four of Wands is the card of marriage, family, connection, communion, coming together, Knight of Wands, wow, King of Pentacles, card of security, abundance, wealth, and holding on to things that are very, very valuable to you. Speaking of which, we have Page of Pentacles. It's the investment. So something here is stable, going to be here for the long haul. If it's a seed that's planted with the Page of Pentacles, it's going to grow into full capacity. King of, King of Pentacles, it has a lot of promise. This is something that has already been activated, called into your life, growing, full of life, full of energy, fighting, fighting the odds against all odds. This is going to work out. Four of Wands is something to celebrate, something to be, have joy over, something to um, build a home with, build a life with, build your life upon. It feels good is what it is I'm saying. So the overarching message here that it is that I'm getting is it's time. You are ready. Everything in its season and nothing before it's time. That's the way. Um, there's this quote that says, nature does not hurry and yet everything is accomplished. There's something to be said about how things naturally unfold in your life. It may not necessarily be on our timetable, like where, you, where you'll say, well, 15 years ago, this would have happened for me or 15 years ago, this is what I would have wanted, didn't happen, why? This is one of those things that the, when it happens, the way that it happens is the perfect thing and not a moment too soon and not a moment too late, okay? So very short and sweet and to the point message, I think, for the most part. Let me go ahead and look at your oracle cards of comfort. The first one is loneliness. When you stop fearing your alone alone aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May, may I embrace and love my solitude? And that's when kindred spirits can finally come, exactly. So this could be a, a nod towards feeling lonely, but more than anything, I feel like this is the thing that is that you want in your life that you haven't seen grow or it did grow and it got stunted or it didn't grow in the way that it is that you wanted it to. There's something. Wow, guys, I can't even make this up. Divine timing. Wow. The divine bring things, brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing. I literally just said this. This is crazy to me. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. I promise you, I swear. I did not know. I did not know that, that card was there. The Lady of Lightning. Wow. Surprises, sometimes shock, and total paradigm shift. I probably didn't say that word correctly, but it's like total sh changing, total shifts. The resting tree, patience and stillness. The number 22 here is significant, and also you have 35 which breaks down to five, six, seven, eight, eight, the card of uh, transformation, also abundance, infinity, which is actually connected to the magician card here. Oh, you can't see. She has the infinity sign above her head. Yep. So some of you have been feeling again in this season of loneliness, just being really patient, even maybe even like, oh, like when is this ever going to happen for me? Can this ever happen? Yes. Yes. Not only yes, but it is right now. So, 
share the message of love. Honestly, what I feel like for this is gratitude when you go and you talk to your angels and your guides. When this actually comes into your life or when this happens, you're going to be singing praises. You're going to be like, I can't believe this happened. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I set intention, I set intention, I set intention. When this happens, you're going to be singing praises, but also I feel like you're going to be giving credit to where it's due. Wow. Speaking of which, sign from heaven. Your loved ones in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you will be all right. Yep. Rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. This is about speaking life. When your blessing comes in, make sure that you give credit where it's due and that you encourage other people who have been in your situation in your predicament or maybe losing hope. I don't know why, but that's the message that's coming through. Next cards we have here. I just saw the bottom one, so I'm going to start with that. Self-respect. Wow. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I'm surrounded by loving and kind people. I love that prayer. Next few cards, we have ear chakras. Yep, this is what you hear and this is what you're about to hear. It says, notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and from within your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayer. The next card, cancel, clear, delete. Wow, some of you guys need to seriously cancel, clear, delete especially with share the message of love, speak life over the situation. You are listening. Your angels and guides are listening. If there's any type of negativity, even if it's negative thinking, that's natural, but don't speak it. Don't speak it out. It's only share messages of love. Okay. Only speak messages of love. Do not complain. Do not speak doubt. Don't create a drought from your, with your mouth, with your words, make rivers of love. That's going to activate this energy even further. Okay. You're going to have to let me know how this pans out for you because, wow, wow. Um, if you have any questions about me, my work, if you want to explore the Bahati Life Apothecary, where my magic, candles, oils, all of the above is found, you can find that at BahatiLife.com. The links to that, as well as readings, which are closed right now, and cards, as well as the tea, will be found in the links below. I'll make sure that I provide that for you. Until then, my loves, I am going to move on to Bahati Love Notes. That's that daily, well, not daily, it was daily, but it's my very often source of exclusive readings as I'm channeling throughout the day, uh, throughout the week. I pass those messages over to you. Um, those will be found down below. I'm going to shuffle for that now. I think we're going to be focusing on love inspired by the second pile, the second tea pile. Until then, you guys, I'm sending you all my love. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.